Oh, uh, no. So what's the story with these guys? They showed up under the pretext of escorting Ms. Rockbell, but I'm not buying that. They only answer to Kimley. What did you do to get locked up? It's only a misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. Just a lack of communication. I'll have them released within no time at all. <sighs> Thanks a lot, Mr. Kimbley. These two are lucky to have you watching out for them. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> Don't freak out. Just think about something else. Try to think about something else. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, carbon, monite, uh, iron, cobalt, zero. Periodic table. Why did I have to fall in love with such a weirdo? Huh? Did you say something? No, Ed. I didn't say anything. Yeah! Now let's do your leg. Uh oh. <laughs> it's pretty heavily reinforced. Oh, it looks nice. Finally upgrading for the cold, huh? Are you upgrading too? <gasps> oh. There's nothing left for me to upgrade to. Whoa, what kind of reinforcement is that on the claws? They're not diamond tipped, are they? <laughs> yeah, she's fully modified. <gasps> Edward, do you want me to upgrade you to one of these? My style. <laughs> Who's the girl? She's too cute to be hanging around you. She's my mechanic. <laughs> what you do that for? Cause life isn't fair. That was messed up. For real? Are you serious? You got a rocket. I see she's got her parents' enthusiasm. The model's durability in the I'm in the way. Your little upgrades all taken care of and out of the way. That's right. So why don't we find a place to sit down? I'm eager to Let's chop it up. Business. The advance team took three days' provisions. It's been an entire week since we last heard from them. That's cutting it close. General, there's no telling what could happen to us while we're down here. If we're not back within 24 hours, seal up this hole with concrete. If Raven's fate is discovered, I order you to solely place the blame on me. Yes, General. Let's go. The Fort Grigg's strong suit is defense, but you need more than defense if you plan on being the one to make the first strike. That's true. Madame Olivier needs the strength of your army, not you. She said you might as well just get lost. Damn. Uh -huh. <laughs> well then, that'll be 35,000 cents, please. <laughs> I appreciate it. Who are you? Oh, just someone who served the Armstrong family for generations. <laughs> It's exactly the same as Smith's arm. Even this metal was sliced clean through. Keep on the lookout. It might be close. Oh, yeah. They're still alive! Oh, shit. Listen, we have to get out of here. It's coming back. What is Fuck. You gotta get rid of the lights. Come on, pull yourself oh, together. Oh fuck! You walk. Let's go. Shit. Don't you worry. I'll make sure that he does. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Salim, shouldn't you be in bed? I was, but then I heard the you door. Must be working hard to be up so late. Not really. I just had to bring your father yeah, some doctors. Yeah, that, yep. But I that's it. The first one won't give us. Good night, Selim. This just doesn't add up. The colonel told me that King Bradley was raised as a test subject. He doesn't have any family. So, put it all together. <gasps> all thanks to my stepmother. She just doesn't know how to shut up. But I'm just now realizing why. It's the same bloodlust I felt when Gluttony tried to attack me from behind. Such bravery. You've also shown good judgment by keeping your gun holstered. Such a move would only get you killed. No. You've got some kind of pressure coming from you that he didn't have. Me? It's pride. And I was the first homunculus. You said you were the first homunculus, correct? What do you mean by that? Just what I told you. Have you considered switching sides and joining us? Why would I? 
I'd just be a pawn to you. So that's a no? That's too bad. Are you trying to humor me with your empty threats? It's just wasteful to kill your hostage. <laughs> just remember, Lieutenant, I will be watching you from the shadows. Shit. First off, he wants you to hunt down Scar. You just find him, I'll take care of the rest. Secondly, he wants you to locate Dr. Marco, who is very likely fled with Scar. And last but not least, he wants you to carve a crest of blood here. Listen, Kimberly, do you have any idea what they're doing? What you're helping them to achieve? They're I'm gonna... curious to see how the world will change. Have you forgotten that you're a human? How can you take sides with them? Because they've given me complete freedom to use my alchemy however I want. If I survive this battle, then the world will have chosen my sanity over yours. I stake my being. The very core of my own existence. Something you and your brother want more than anything. I'll give it to you. <laughs> oh! Philosopher's Stone. They actually offered me a Philosopher's Stone as payment. A stone? The ingredients for a stone? I know, Al. <laughs> Go ahead and do what you want. I will. Oh, he's he's saucing. It's settled. I'm in. All right. Oh, jeez. This could turn out really badly for us. Yeah. But still, I can't just sit around waiting anymore. You don't want to die too. I mean. <laughs> Ooh, my man, this episode. Ooh, this shit was crazy, man. Lots of information. Ah, oh, man. I mean, literally, you know, with Armstrong getting information from someone who's been working with the, you know, with the uh, working under the Armstrong family for generations. So she's been basically a co op spy, you know, gathering information for a good minute man um transitioning to pretty much um ed and kimberly having you know a discussion chopping it up about like you know three things i need from you and i'll give you a reward first is to you know capture scar next to capture dr marco was basically in cahoots with scar and then finally he's to help him out with, you know, commit mass murder. And in return, I'm gonna give you this philosopher's stone as a form of payment. Help me out real quick. I was like, ah. Uh. So he he talked he talked with him with Al and Winry. And you know, kept Winry in the loop of what, you know, what's actually going on, but not everything, because Kimberly's watching. But man. You know, um, I, re I already knew, like, Ed already knew, you know, when he was looking at, um, I mean, I, I already knew what, um, what, what Ed was scheming up. So he already knew, like, okay, Ed's not the type of guy who was just, like, you know, go ahead and body people, you know, just for a philosopher's stone. Like, due to, due to meeting up and um, with, Main chain um, with her, you know, Aka history, they'll be able to use utilize that to like actually get their bodies back using that method instead of using, you know, alchemy. So um, they head out. And, you know, Olivier, she sends, she sends her, she sends her men down to see if there are any survivors. Ooh. Man, I'm actually surprised that the that there were actually two survivors left remaining. That was crazy, but there was some indication that left um, that those two that those two men who were left alive had mentioned about like yeah like turn off the lights, turn off the lights, this and that, et cetera, et cetera. Like um, the light is what brings attracts 
you know, the homunculus. And even though the homunculus was actually paying attention and actually watching, it could have killed all of them if it wanted to, but it just decided, you know what? I'm gonna let y'all live. I'm gonna let y'all live. Oh man. Olivia tells her, man, like, if anything happens, if we get exposed, put put the blame on me. You know, I don't want any of you guys getting into into trouble or, or being associated with me for any for any of this. Oh man. Um Celine. Wow. This episode found out that she's at that he's actually the first homunculus. And you know what? It looks exactly like that homunculus that pretty much that pretty much you know took um that basically ripped apart Eddie Allen's body with those little arms and stuff. It looks like it. I wonder. Hmm. That's how I see interesting. But it 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 so name is so name is basically the first monkey monk of this so and you know when we felt that presence like whoa some somebody's like sneaking up behind me like that you know similar to how gluttony you know snuck up by her like that bloodlust man oof oh man it makes sense it makes sense for real talking about talking smack about his mom stepmom or his mom mom just just, mom just doesn't know what to shut up (laughs) oh man and it it seems like it's a separate shadow for some reason I don't know why like the way it looks because Salim was basically saying like I'll be watching from the shadows so I wonder if it's a of its ability, it, it can basically separate itself, like its shadow self, its homunculus self, you know, somewhere else. I wonder how far the spread, you know what I mean? Like, because if that's the case, it, it, I'm pretty sure it could have been like, you know, it's really, it really is the eyes that's really watching, you know, and gathering information. Oh man, that's crazy. Oof. This episode was so interesting. And then Winry decides, you know, to join join in on the journey with Ed and Al. Man, Winry, all I gotta say is do not get bodied. Because where they're heading off to, man. But they might make a play at the end, I'm not sure. But who knows? Who knows? But um, anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell. Stay up to date when there's more Full Metal Alchemist and many more anime movie reactions coming to the channel. So be sure to hit the bell to um, stay up to date. But with that being said, guys, so draw.